Hellgates are a team-based activity that let you engage in both PvE and PvP combat while competing for treasure and infamy. Entering a Hellgate takes you into a pocket of hell. Your team will explore one of ten different maps populated by enemies similar to those in corrupted dungeons but strong enough to challenge your team. Eventually, your team may invade or be invaded by an opposing team of players. Team sizes are always equal, so there's no zerging here. The PvP in Hellgates can be either lethal or non-lethal depending on the tier of the Hellgate. In Tier 5 Hellgates, you can't be killed by enemy players, only knocked down. If your entire team is knocked down, you'll be ejected from the Hellgate and return to the world of Albion. In Tier 6, 7, and 8 Hellgates, PvP results in death. You can loot your dead enemies or lose all your items if you die. The easiest way for you and your team to jump into a Hellgate is to purchase a Hellgate Ritual from the market, or create one at the Artifact Foundry. Using a Ritual creates a Hellgate entrance in a nearby region. For 20 minutes after using the Ritual, only the person who used the Ritual can see the newly created entrance. The entrance is clearly marked on that player's world map, region map, and mini-map. Once the user gets close to the entrance, everyone can see it. To enter a Hellgate, you must meet the minimum base average item power requirement of the ritual. This stat does not include adjustments from things like mastery or overcharging, so you won't have to deal with opposing teams wearing cheap overcharged gear. When you enter a Hellgate, your total average item power is automatically reduced based on soft IP limits or caps. The intensity of these IP caps varies depending on the level of the Hellgate. Everyone in your party must click the entrance to channel a spell. While you're channeling, taking damage will not interrupt the spell. As soon as the correct number of players have clicked the entrance, you can all go to Hell. You may also encounter Hellgate entrances randomly in the world, but they're not common and it's probably easier to purchase or create the ritual. Hellgates feature a scoring system called Infamy. Although the name sounds similar, Infamy is not related to the reputation system in any way at all. Destroying monsters and NPCs in a Hellgate earns you Infamy. The higher your infamy, the more valuable your rewards will be if you complete a Hellgate successfully. Each level of Hellgates, 2v2, 5v5, and 10v10, has a separate infamy score. The average infamy of your team members for the current level is used to find an opposing team for you to invade or to invade your Hellgate. If your team wins the PvP battle, you'll earn a percentage of the infamy belonging to each member of the opposing team. But, if your team loses, you'll lose a portion of your own infamy. The Hellgate matchmaking system is designed to find you an opposing team as fast as possible. You might even be launched directly into another team's Hellgate as soon as you complete your ritual. If not, the system continues to look for an appropriate match while your team clears the mobs in your own Hellgate. The longer you go without fighting an enemy team, the broader the search parameters get, and the more likely you are to be matched to an opposing team. When an invasion occurs, most of the mobs in the Hellgate are banished. Only the ones guarding chests and shrines remain. Before long, your team will clash with the opposing team. If you completely wipe out the opposing team, the Hellgate is completed. If the fight lasts a while, Lava will eventually begin rising from the edges of the area, covering everything in its path and forcing your two groups into a smaller space. The lava continually deals damage to anyone standing in it, but after a few seconds of standing in the lava, you'll become immune to crowd control effects until you step out of it. If your team does not invade another team's Hellgate and is not invaded, 
You can complete the Hellgate by earning enough infamy from killing monsters and NPCs. If an invasion does occur, the winning team completes the Hellgate. A marker will appear on the minimap showing the location of your reward chest. The chest will be more valuable if you defeated an opposing team than if there was no invasion. Near the reward chest, you'll find a portal you can use to exit to Albion, and another Hellgate entrance you can use to automatically move to a new Hellgate without creating or buying a separate ritual item. But you might want to head back to town and bank all the sweet loot you've gathered first. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments below what kinds of videos you'd like to see next.